silver pellet. And uh, yeah. My car's frozen in spots. <laughs> you can feel the wheels are a little stuck there. Like frozen to the ground. I don't drive this thing every day if I don't have to, right? So if you get a day where it, like, it thaws and then it freezes, it's like your tires are frozen to the ground. I had one time, I can't remember which vehicle it was, but it was like really frozen. I had to sit there and rock back and forth to, to break the wheels free. It was like, it was froze, frozen. We're not starting till about nine, but it's uh, eight o'clock there now. It's just, we're gonna be working outside today, so it's like, ah, uh, yeah. It was nice last week, this week it's winter again. So, uh, snow's all gone, but that cold that's usually what happens uh, as soon as the snow goes uh, it gets really really cold i remember one april a couple years ago when i was working at the, the train station here it uh i just didn't see all the frost on the window uh it was cold enough in the mornings there it was like yeah like i had to let the like i let this thing warm up for about five minutes but was any colder you'd have to let it warm up for at least 10 minutes i know the like uh, years and years ago they'd say you know always warm up your vehicle before you go anywhere you know even in the summertime let it run for a minute or two got another bird oh that was close got another bird that was close yeah his reaction it's cold enough his reaction time was a little on the slow side there he nearly he never he nearly became windshield food Maybe more so. 